Okay, how's it going guys? Conardist here and welcome to something we're going to be playing while I am currently grinding my Pokemon in Pokemon Fire Ash. So uh, yeah, this is something we can upload in the meantime. Uh, it's called Pokemon Postscriptum Faded Eps Epsil? Epistle? Epistle? I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, yeah, if you want to play this yourself, link will be in the description below. I don't know how long the current demo is. But you know what, we'll play until we can't play anymore. So yeah, if you want to download it yourself and play, link will be in the description below. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Pokemon Postscriptum, let's do it. Uh, let me check the options real quick. Fast. I'll switch that off. Everything else seems fine. I like me some DP font. Uh... Text entry. Let's go move that to keyboard. Everything else seems okay. What does set controls mean? Oh, that. Okay, everything seems fine. New game! This is an unofficial, fan made, and non profit game. It is not affiliated, associated, authorized, or endorsed, or in any way officially connected with the Pokemon Company, Nintendo, Game Freak, or Creatures Inc. Got it. Pokemon is okay. Just same same stuff you always see in fan games and stuff. This fan made nonprofit game is a work of parody. Oh, fantastic! Please support the official games. Always do. I mean, hold F to speed up the frame rate when needed. Oh, fantastic! That is what I like to see. Please avoid using Cheat Engine. Use the F button instead. Cheat Engine has the potential to break the cutscenes. I didn't know there was a Cheat Engine. Is there really a Cheat Engine that can let me? speed things up because that'd be fantastic this may also happen if you hold f5 during cutscenes or any other sequences got it only only use f during um only speed it up during the battles just to make things go a bit quicker please note that some of the themes of this game might not be suitable for younger audiences huh the fuck you've gotta you've gotta be kidding me Oh man, I need to wake up. This is torture. Wait, wasn't I supposed to be doing something today? I don't remember. Huh? Is it egg catching? The fuck? Oh no! What the fuck is going on? Oh no, the job interview! What the fuck? I'm getting a job? Cool. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh no. <laughs> Dang it, not again. I, I can't afford to lose this one too. Where's the application form? Oh shit! What? D didn't I do this yesterday? Oh fuck! No, oh, never mind. I need to fill it quick. What was that wish? Okay, scribble, scribble. And lastly, my name. What? Wh why is my hand troubling like this? <laughs> why don't I know my own name? Oh shit! Hardest question ever. I I, th I think I wrote Mark correctly, didn't I? Sure. Oh man, oh man. Oh, this time I have to get it right. I must. I just. I just can't keep on living like this. Mother. Dang it. That's what the switch is. I must go now. I must go get this job. Four years ago. Who? Who am I kidding? What's happening right now? Why can't I do something with my life for once? Don't I ever think of anyone? Why am I like this? Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. Okay, yeah. Wanted to make sure we were recording. I try and try again. I keep trying. I just... I can't do this. Oh, hello. Do I move? It's in black and white. Oh, I do move. Okay. Welcome back, Mark. How'd it go, dear? You didn't get the job. T slaps me. Well, that's okay, sweetheart. Please don't worry about it. We'll manage, that's for sure. I can find something extra to do. Where am I trying to apply to, dude? Why can't I just go apply to a McDonald's? It'll be easy to get a job there. Mark. 
Never stop trying. Don't give up, honey. Where the hell am I trying to apply to? Did I go to college? Did I get a degree? Oh, come on, Mark. You know what? I'll make you your favorite. What do you say? Listen, at your age, many young people have trouble finding jobs. Everybody's like that, okay? Don't be so hard on yourself. I love you with all my being, dear. I. I am a horrible person. I know the situation we're in. And even if I want to help with all my heart, I just can't bring myself to do it. I. I can't work. I try, but I just can't. Totally worthless. Mom. Mom, I'm sorry. You sacrificed so much. Yet I. I. Four years later. Do I have a job? You can't be telling me it's been four years and I still don't have a job. Pant, pant, pant. Huff, huff. Did, did I make it on time? Great. Legs are trembling from all the anxiety. Did I seriously go four years without a job? What the fuck was I doing with my life, dude? Jesus. Seriously, go fucking apply to McDonald's or fucking, I don't know, Target. They have Target in Pokemon? I don't know, maybe. Oh, man. Okay, let's do this. Where the fuck am I at? This, doesn't look, this does not look like a Target. Can I run? I'm gonna save. Because, again, with demos, I'm always got to be cautious. There's always that chance of, you know, bugs and shit glitching the game out. This is great. Nobody's watching. Time to take a dump. What the fuck do you mean take a dump? Why are you taking a dump right here? Who the fuck said you could take a dump? In pu What the f Okay. Well, that's great. That man's taking a dump. Man, these guys are something else. They're working as if their very lives depend on it. Well, they kind of do, but you catch my drift. This place looks cool. The post office is always so relaxing. It's a place where you can drink some high quality coffee. Who the fuck drinks coffee at the post office? And why am I applying at a post office? The life the couriers live. No way, that's for me. I'm only here to admire them. Okay. It's a heliolisk. Did you know that these guys are working nonstop to ensure that we can sleep safe at night? What? Strange device, must be some sort of computer case. You remember the room-sized computer cases for three years ago. And feel amazed at the astounding development speed technology has these days. Okay, what about this boat? The Great Albanian Ferry. Heard of it once. Used to be part of the Albanian Commonwealth Great Navy. Okay. What about this lamp? No hidden silhouettes behind the lamp. Got it. What about this tree over here? I want to talk to this tree. It's a tree. <laughs> God, I wish that was a thing. Just talk to the tree. Hello. Oh, hey, friend. Did you notice it? No. I just glanced at these guys. And I did notice it. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Find out for yourself. Duh. What guys? Who the fuck are you glancing at? These guys? My flashlight. Oh, man. Can't believe. Look at this line. Okay, I probably probably gonna supposed to go up there, but I'm going over here real quick to see what's going on. Courier Vow Five: Educate yourself on a variety of topics and areas. Courier Vow Two: Never abandon those in need. Are these like the yeah the vows a courier has to live by and shit? Courier Vow Number Seven: Why are these out of order? Always keep yourself at peak physical condition. Courier Vow Number One: Always respect human and Pokemon life. Couriers, such honorable people. Vow number three, use of use of nature harming technology is prohibited. Uh-huh, can't use a chainsaw to cut down trees. Dang it. Letters are to be delivered at all costs. Okay. Stoic life is the only path. Resist temptations. Like what, strippers? You can't tell me to resist strippers. 1830, the first carrier outpost is established in the undiscovered lands. The arch postman Sir Very De Live 
to live to yeah to live i guess send the scout squad deep inside the tapioca wildlands there the squad encountered an extremely aggressive pokemon which preyed upon the carrier team it ate them holy shit the arch postman calm and collected tried to appease the gigantic pokemon after a while the pokemon sat silently in front of him emanating respect and gratitude his first encounter marked a long relationship between carriers and Pokemon, where the former, out of respect, refused to capture any Pokemon from then on, swearing only to protect them from harm. To this day, only high-ranking officers are allowed partner Pokemon. On extremely rare cases, however, if a Pokemon chooses a courier as its master, probably gonna be me, because lord knows we need Pokemon, the courier is then not only allowed to keep that Pokemon as a partner, to also catch and train other ones too thus symbolizing the relationship of the first arch postman and the gigantic pokemon okay so that's gonna be us that's we're gonna be that extremely rare case where we get to have a partner pokemon good to know good to know gonna get eliminated apparently not hi hello sir are you here to inquire about something hello gasp at least i'm not a mute in this game usually i'm a mute but not, not this game this game we have a voice good to know I'm here for the job interview, Pant Pant. The job interview, sir. You must be referring to the application process. The interview part of the process was completed already. What? What? I'm terribly sorry, sir, but you've arrived uh, 10 days late. I, I mean, 50 minutes late. The application process is extremely scrutinous and austere. Austere? All the interviewees who are needed are already employed by now. Damn. Are, are you sure? Maybe there's a delay or something. No, sir. I'm afraid there is nothing that could be done. However, if you provide your phone number, we might put you next in line for any future employment event. We will contact you appropriately. Uh, fuck you. Uh, oh man. This can't be happening again. I, I was late again? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Four years and I've always been late. God damn it. Ha. Ha ha. Ha. I need to sit down for a moment. Ha. Again. I failed again. I failed to help my family once more. What kind of terrible monster am I? Apparently one that can't get a job. There. There's nothing. Nothing it can do anymore. Okay. The hell's going on here? So, what do you think? Does this constitute an appropriate course of action? Sir, I'm positive that under these circumstances, the only available course of action requires the cancellation of the process. This is an unusual predicament. Our reputation is going to be tarnished, and now of all times. When HQ prepares to conduct an investigation on us, this is unacceptable. The fuck do you pronounce that? Georgi? Georgi? I'm gonna say Georgi. Do you understand? I fully do, sir. If there is no other option, though, then should I volunteer? Volunteer's tribute? No, this cannot be done. You need to hold your position for reasons you already know. What the fuck? Huh? Sorry for troubling you, sir, but we've got a situation over here. Speak. A young man just came in for an interview and, well... He arrived almost an hour late and looked looking desperate. He sat on a desk and... <laughs> Get to the point? <laughs> he got on the desk got on the desk and started dancing butt naked sorry sir he um he collapsed while trying to buy a can of soda from the vending machine oh god damn it if i'm dehydrated why the hell am i buying soda should i be drinking water soda's not good for you when you're fucking dehydrated he let out a distressed sigh and fell down like a brick he's flatter than texas right now <laughs> okay he's practically one with the floor what how annoying. You can't have that. The inspecting committee will be here any minute now. <laughs> Pick him up and throw him out back. <laughs> throw him with the rest of the trash. 
imagine. <laughs> Game over. Throw him out. I don't care if he's in a coma or what. <laughs> Damn. But sir, there are many people outside. It's peak hour. <laughs> put him put him in a bag and just throw him out back. Whatever. Feed him to the zigzagoon. Uh stupid brat. Sir, please let me go and try to wake him up. We're running out of time. Yes, Georgi. Georgi, sure. Go and report back to me immediately. Sir. Okay. <laughs> we get slapped. <laughs> wake the fuck up. Damn, we're getting our ass beat. Jesus. Huh? <laughs> Who the fuck is kicking me in the face? Oh, man. What? All right, he's coming too. Only took a cute, only took a few putts to the head. He might have brain damage now, but you know he's he's fine. Is this heaven? Well, no, but it will be soon for you if you don't get your fucking ass up quickly. What? Oh hey, how's it going? <laughs> Carrier inspection commencing. Please cease all activities until the operation is complete. What? Ah, oh, dang it, they're here. Tell the boss and fast. Yes, sir. We're doomed. And why did you have to cause this mess, too? The last thing we needed was a random guy kicking the bucket. Especially while the inspectors raid our branch. Yeah, I know. Any sales trying to buy a soda? Why the hell did I fall down here? I'm a disgrace. I can't even land a job right. Heck. I can't even meet an interview deadline properly. Just let me rot already. Uh, <laughs> oh man, stop acting like that. They're going to inspect the place. Who knows what they're going to say when our, our... Who knows what they're going to say when they witness you acting like this inside our branch. Because you lost a job, moron. Uh, what... What you thought we what you thought we would accept a loser such as you? Well, damn. Not sure if that's the right way to phrase that sentence, but damn. Ah, uh, you fainted like a fragile hapini when it does when it take what what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me, hold on. Let me read that again. You fainted like a fragile hapini does when it takes a dump. Is that fact? To a do fragile hapinis faint when they take dumps? Is that fact? Huh. What an idiot. Dang, nabbit. They're getting close. There's no time left. Great. Now it is me who is going to be jobless. Wait a minute. A job. That's it. You're looking to get employed, you said, huh? All right, I got an idea. Stay where you are. Our boss is a real humanitarian, you know? He can't believe how many people he's helped, or you can't believe how many people he's helped. Yeah, right. He doesn't even pay me m <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> looks at him, shut the Fuck up or I will kill you. As I was saying, he is practically an angel in human form. This, this guy was about to say he doesn't get paid minimum wage. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm his right-hand man. Let me talk to him and see if I can persuade him to hire you. Are you serious? Will you do this for me? Oh man, you're the best. Yeah, uh, imagine the look on the inspector's face when he sees that we employ even the helpless. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> He's calling me a little bitch. Oh, I see. <laughs> Fuck it, at least I'll have a job. <laughs> yeah, what were you expecting? Anyway, stay put. I'll be back faster than Lightning. Lightning McQueen, as in Lightning? Boss, they're here. I know already. Boss, I have a great idea. We can do it. I found a way to solve the problem, and in the nick of time, too. What? Is there enough time? Yes. Please give it to me, sir. We can still do it. The sound you heard earlier. Uh, it's a guy who was the dumbest guy on earth. Okay, fuck off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they are shitting all over me. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> I know I haven't met a deadline or, like, a job interview deadline in four years, but still... Does that mean I'm the dumbest man on earth? He was begging like a dog for a job. Turns out he missed the interview process. I know that, Georgi. Tell me what we can do. Oh yeah, uh, this guy is so incredibly dumb, he might be suitable. Do you understand me, boss? You mean, 
we hand it over to him and then we just send him away hand what over to me and who's that guy in the top corner see him right there is that supposed to be me i don't remember what my sprite looks like but up there in like the top left corner or not really top but middle left what the fuck who, who is that is that a poster or is that me i can't tell or it's just some guy standing there randomly uh yeah if a careless recruit is the one responsible for you know what then the blame will be put solely on him what are they trying to blame on me they murder somebody Georgi. bring him here immediately before the inspectors reach this floor sir yes sir now Georgi. so i hear from Georgi that you were desperate for a job with the couriers right uh what sure oh Georgi's perfect <laughs> he's a fucking idiot <laughs> Well, you're extremely lucky. We do have a position open. Moreover, it breaks my heart. Seeing you aching in pain over the fact that you were unable to work. Georgi told me your sad story. I didn't even tell him a sad story. I just can't leave you like this after hearing the details of your life. I never told him my life. Does that mean that you'll accept me, sir? You're so eager, aren't you? The answer is, <laughs> fuck no, get out of here. Yes. Welcome to the Couriers. Oh, great. Wow, this, this place is so great. They... they accepted me. It's totally not suspicious at all. And all these lights, they're so blurry. And... dark. Uh, is he gonna fade again? Come on, we need you standing, man. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Uh, gotta get myself together. I got a job now, right? Crap, I'm starting to actually feel sorry for this unaware fool. <laughs> listen and listen well. We need you to hand over the application form. We will proceed to immediately hire you after we're done with all the paperwork. What you need to do is this. You will follow Georgi on the room upstairs where you will be given your official gear. I get gear? We will shortly dispatch you from your on your first mission. Um, this fast? Uh, don't you guys like train recruits first or what? Uh, he's not completely dumb, it seems. Well, we do, but your case is special, since you will be needed immediately. <laughs> Why me? You'll have to make do with what you have. Your first mission will also be your own training program. Oh, great. Do not fret, though, for there is no danger and the difficulty of the mission is extremely low. Just do what you're told and leave the rest to us. Okay? Sure. Alright, let's get... Gentlemen, may I have your attention for a moment? Who the fuck are you? No, we didn't make it on time. Oh, wait, we can still turn this around. It appears that you're attempting to recruit after the designated time frame. You do realize that is against protocol, right? Other than that, and that's spelled wrong, inspection shows no sign of misbehavior or breach of organization conduct. Please explain the situation at hand. Yes, sir. You see this guy here. It's all right, Georgi. I will tell the truth to honorary to the honorary inspector here. By that, he means he's gonna fucking lie. No, sir. This we can't, Georgi. Enough. Please excuse us. There is indeed an explanation for this predicament. Mr. Mark here is a particularly unfortunate person. Now, oh, Grad knew he was gonna fucking lie. Well, he's not lying, but. You get what I'm saying. He searched far and wide for a job that would suit him. No one was willing to employ him. Probably because I was late all the time. Why was that, you think? Go ahead, ask him. Uh, okay, I'll play along. Why were you unable to find a job then? Uh, why? <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. What do you expect? Because, um, uh, uh... Uh, I don't know, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I just strange. What? Some reason, maybe? Perfect. I'm so anxious, I'm totally messing this up right now. See? Well, I'll be. Where'd you even find this guy? And to think, I suspected you. No. You're actually doing a great service to our organization. 
I was not expecting that you would be so keen to show mercy, even on a helpless case such as this. Wow. Is everybody in this game gonna shit on me? <laughs> Jesus. I will report this to the brass. I'm sure that they will understand. You're a very kind-hearted man, Mr. Olofsky. Oh, there's that guy's name. Please, I'm humbled. I just could never abandon a defenseless being such as this one. What the fuck? Am I like a homeless dog or something? Why are they talking to me like this? Defenseless being? Oh, whoop your ass, old man. Please proceed with your inspection so we can prepare him right away for his work. It is imperative that he begins at once. We cannot lose any more time. Productivity will go down. Yes, I believe we are finished here, gentlemen. You may continue. Oh, and good luck, young man. You're officially a carrier recruit from now on. See to it that you do not disappoint. Inspector, sir. Boss, sir. Oh, my. You're getting the gist of it already, aren't you? Ha ha ha. Gentlemen? That was brilliant, sir. You, recruit. This is why our branch is an... What the fuck is that word? LM... L -E what? I fuck that word, dude. <laughs> I don't have a dictionary with me. It is a something institution, first and foremost. So you should be thankful that we supported you. Isn't our boss wonderful? <laughs> Praise him. Anyway, boss, we need to get this over with. I'm arranging for the ship already. I'm taking a ship? You will go to Artesmi... Artemisia? 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 Something like that. City by ship. There you will be assigned your position at the local branch. You will also be given a letter, a very important item for us carriers, which you will have to deliver to a recipient in the Arenia Ar region. God, I cannot pronounce these words. Arenia region. The local branch overseer will fill you in on the details. Overseer? Are we clear? Clear as day, sir. Perfect. Yorgi? Here, this is the letter you're supposed to deliver. Oh, and uh, change of plans. You will receive your gear at Art Artemisia Artemisia's southern branch. You will be needed there right away, or right now. So we don't have time for these things. Get the fuck out. Ship is almost ready to sail. Oh, and one more thing. This letter except for never opening a customer's item of course you must never lose it do you fucking understand me you will need to deliver it safely to its destination of course sir i'll take it i'll take care of it as if it were the most precious thing in the life or thing in my life good now hide inside your shoe oh now hide it inside your shoe <laughs> hide get, get, take off your shoe and hide in it right now what you heard me right. This is a direct order from an officer. You must obey. Why the fuck am I putting the letter in my shoe? I have pockets, right? Uh, I mean, are you sure? Listen to what my subordinate says, recruit. Uh, okay. It's small enough, so... Okay. Done. I await further orders, sir. Am I doing this right? Indescribably well. Now get out of here, fast. Their, their, their ship is waiting for you. Go, go, go. Uh, alrighty. Thank you, sir. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. You've actually saved my hide. We know, we know. Now go. Get the fuck out. I'm off. Goodbye. Well then. Oh yeah, you see that person back there? That's a person. That's not me. That right up there. There's somebody and there's a fucking... I forgot what that Pokemon's called. It's the final evolution of Rowlet. Yeah, they're up there. Holy shit. Are they like spying or is there just, just like a sprite there for no reason? Hmm. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this here for now. We'll continue on with whatever, whatever Olofsky's going to say next. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Connor. I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Postscriptum. Thanks for watching again. And, uh, yeah, peace out.